And we're back again. The second segment of tuning the top and the back plate. We're just going to need a few extra tools. And this is kind of a, a collection of scrapers. And that's where you've rolled the edge into kind of a rolled uh, plane. Basically, you just have the special kind of steel. And these work back and forth with a very hard steel. And you just kind of work over an edge on it like that. And that forms a little curl, and that's what you scrape with. Okay. And when it gets dull, you just add another edge to it. And so these are some different uh, shape scrapers. All right, put that over here. And a couple little pieces of uh, sandpaper. So, in this segment, what we're going to do. We want to make these three areas, just A, B, C. And I think you'll find out this is pretty much one area. That's another area. And they're kind of even all over. So if you tap them, so it's bum, 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 on the overtones. We're just thinking for the highest overtone. Or if you can hear the bottom tone. So this is higher, middle, and lower. And what we'll find is when you make them all even, uh, then we go on to the next phase. So now all we care about is making these three areas even. So down, down, down. Um, two ways we can do it. We can lower this one, and we can raise this one. Or we could um, just lower all th both of these to get to the lowest one, match them that way. So what we're going to do is find out which way should we go. So this is a wood reference tap tone tool you'll see on violinresearch.com. Click on tools, our useful tools. So all I'm going to do is tap in the center and listen to what this average frequency is. Okay. Now to interpret this, you must not talk to yourself. You just have to hear. Your mind will do all the interpreting for you. So we're just going to tap about 10 taps, and then we're going to start on the lower pitches and work up. And you'll see that it's um, short and going taller, so that's the uh, this acts like a soundboard to amplify it. Okay. What will happen, you get that in your mind, and as you tap along, you just hear it. And it starts going up. Going down, down, down. Stops moving. It just stays the same. Goes up. And it's right at that transition between seeing the same and going up and going down. So basically, we're at 198. For a top plate, we'd like it to be 213. Okay? So let's examine the high one, see where it is. That's the average. about here. When you can isolate it. This is too low, that's too high. Too high, too low. So you know it's right there. So this is um, just slightly above what we want. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to raise this bottom section. Remember, um, we want them all the same. So that purpose of this little teaching section is to show you kind of where you want to go. We want to go to 213. We're not there. Uh, this is slightly too high, and that's a bit too low, and that's quite a bit too low. Okay, so this one is too low, so we aren't going to take any wood off this area. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to go from our acoustical center, and we're going to move, remove material down to our node line stop. And what that's going to do, it will raise this area. Okay, So we want to tap here and see if it's kind of even. And it is. Okay, So this is where our scrapers will come in. Um, so we start from the nodal area and scrape down this way. Okay. You have to be careful here you don't break this off. <laughs> 
I'm just going to do this roughly. Notice this is this area will raise this part. That area will raise this up, and so on. I'm going to carry this line to the side so I don't lose it. And we know it's pretty much here on the... Let's try this. Now with just that little tiny material, and like I said, you could use like a vibrating finish sander or just a little sandpaper in this area. Just don't go over the line here. And it's a radial from here out, like that. Okay, now when we listen to it. But it's not very far apart anymore, is it? Okay. So we're just going to... So the, the middle parts come up more than the two sides, so we're going to work on the two sides. Now I'm going to use sandpaper so I don't uh, injure... In fact, I might want to find some. That's 150. I'm going to look for some number 100. There you go. Got a little. So I'm supporting it underneath there. Remember, we're kind of going out from this acoustical center out like that. We don't have to go past this triangle because. And the surprising thing is how very little amount of wood you need to remove. So, da, da, da. So it's pretty much right here. This is low. And it's the lowest down here. So in this case, we know this is the area we want to raise. So I put a, draw a line from the acoustical center down. And the fact that it's too low here means we want to remove material there. Okay, so it's just like you transpose this down. So this is the area you want to raise. So that means the field needs to come off right here. And that worked nice. Huh. Okay, we'll reestablish our mode 5 line here. So now let's cheer it. There are overtone difference, but they're getting real close. Now let's compare it to our uh, standard here and see what we've got. So this is the average. And let's see how close we are now. Up, down, down, stop, even, 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 up, down. Okay, so basically, we're right at 213. So this is 213 all over. Let's see if it's the same on the other side. Down. 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 Okay, so now we have a 213 top plate, which is what we want. Um, so that's that's simple. That's as simple as it is. 
Um, and now we, we'll go into uh, making fine adjustments here in a little bit. But for now, that's the idea.